Hello guys, welcome to the OPL assignment video series. So today we will discuss the next assignment of group B. So in the following form. So which will have name John and then the phone number. Again on the next line we will have the name Ahmed like this and its phone number. Okay, so use a class objects to store each set of data, access the file created and implement the ta uh, following task that is first task is determine the telephone number of specified person they determine the name if telephone number is known and update the telephone number whenever there is a change so in short we are going to uh, create here we are going to develop a telephone directory or phone book directory so we are going to create a phone book so first of all we will include all the header files here so i stream is required then f stream is header file required because it is used for file handling so then c string is required from string operations here and for after that we need io manif header file that is for input output manipulation okay so input output manipulation means we want to format the output so i'll just uh, show you the sample output so this way we want to arrange our output we want to format our output in two columns so that we can do with the, with the help of io manip only input output manipulators okay so, so we'll start, start with the coding now so first of all we'll see the class definition so we'll define a class phone book and in this phone book class we need two members or uh, two member variables that is uh, the first member is required that is name or uh, its character will define here of 20 size character array will define then we'll de uh, declare a uh, phn variable for phone number uh, of long time okay as we are going to enter 10 digit phone number we need long data type here okay so after that in public section we'll define the member functions so first member function that is get input this is for input purpose okay we'll take input with the help of get input, input of name and phone number name and phone number will take through this function okay so then next uh, function is show output so we'll display output or we'll, we'll, we'll display the value of we'll display the value of name and phone number with the help of this function here and after that we need the next function that is file write i will define here so this file write i need here for writing the for creating the file and creating the file and writing the content on the file content on the file so that is the use of our file write function here then we uh, will define a uh, uh, file read function so that is uh, here required for reading the file so it is use already the file contain so after that we will define a search number function which will generally perform the search operation so we will we'll do what we will search the phone number here okay phone number according to according to name okay then next function is search name that will define so here we'll search the name according to the phone number okay we'll enter phone number and we'll get the name here then finally we'll uh, define an update number function so this will search or the, this will search the name first and then update its number there okay so these are the functions member functions are required for our phone book here okay so after that we'll define a, a, a function that member function get input outside the class will define it so we'll define okay in this function we'll take the input of name here this way that is enter name and then with the help of scene we'll take the input of name then we'll display enter phone number and we'll take the input of phn variable that is phone number then we'll define show output function so in this show output function right now you can see in the cout statement i'm using set w this is the input output manipulator that is called as set width we are setting the 20 character width here okay so it will create a 20 width column here in which we'll going to show the name values and we'll create again second column that is set w 20 with the help of set w will create again 20 size column and in which i will show the phn that is phone number 
and then Intel. So this is about your show output function that is required for showing the output. Now after that we'll define file write function. So in file write generally we are going to create first. Uh, we'll, we, are, we are going to create file first and then we'll open it and then we'll write the content on this file. So first of all as we are uh, dealing with the file handling, we are, we are dealing with the files we need fstream class here okay already we included the fstream header file but we are we have to create the object of fstream class here so i'll create the object of fstream class here that is f out and the of f out i'll call a function that is open so this open function generally takes two parameters one is your file name so i'll create a file name i'll create a file phonebook.dat okay and the next parameter I need here that is the input output uh, that is uh, input output stream mode of the file. So I'm going to use my file for output purpose. So I'll use out mode here, and then I'm going to create the file as a binary file here because file, binary files are faster than the regular file while accessing the content of those files. So we'll create binary file here so that that content will not be seen by any other person. Uh, you have to read it with the loop of program only. So after this, okay, this will create the file on boot or that and it will create as a binary file as, as an output file. So then we need the uh, writing up, uh, here. So we'll call write function here. So write function generally takes two parameters that is one is memory block and another is uh, its size. So now this time I'm going to write the memory block that is this i'll going to write the current objects on my file uh, obviously uh, we are going to do the uh, we are going to take the input through the objects here and that uh, objects we are going to write on the file because of that we need we have to use here this why this because we are going to call this uh, member function with the object so that current calling object will be uh, will have to write on the file so we'll access uh, that object objects or those objects with the help of this pointer here and then after that we'll return the size here so i'll use aspect this this will give the size of current object okay so this with the help of write function will write the content or will write the objects on the file and after that we'll close the uh, here f stream okay we'll create the uh, we will close the web stream object uh, web stream object because finally after the use of that file or uh, that file stream we should be we should close it no uh, okay after that we have to define file read function so uh, again in this function we are going to open the file and after opening we are going to read that file here so again we have to use fstream object here so i'll, I'll use uh, fn object now i'll create the fn object and with the help of this fn object i'll open the file again so again here i need to use the same thing i will write here that is the uh, name of file that is phonebook.dat that we have created in our write function then it has to be open in input or mode so as we are going to use this file for input purpose only we are not going to create the file here then we are going to use the next node that is binary that is we know that it's a binary file okay so this way we will open the file first but now see one more we have to add here in our write function that is ios and then app that is append because when we write the file second time again we'll write the content uh, the uh, on the file at uh, another time that time the content should be appended should not be over overwrite overwritten there okay uh, when we don't use append mode that time it will be over it or overwrite it there okay so this is this in file read will open the file first and after that we have to um, read this file okay we have to read the content of this side uh, file so again we have to use fn pointer here fn object and with, uh, here we are no here we are going to use we have to use while loop because the file will will have the multiple content multiple objects so all that multiple objects we have to read here like this 
this output is showing see this is the file which is having all these records and each and every record here that is name and phone number is written with the help of a single object so these are the uh, number of objects here so we have to read those number of objects here uh, objects in order to get name and phone number here so because of that we need while loop here so i'll use while loop and in this while loop we'll take the condition we'll read the file here with the help of read function now and in this read function again we need two parameters that is memory block and stream size so i'll copy and paste this same here because the read and write um, function are having the same syntax okay so we want to read the current object so we'll use its pointer here that is this pointer and we'll return its size here in the bytes okay so in this we'll call the we are having a show output function so we'll call that function with the help of this pointer again so show output so here we have displayed the content we'll display the content with the help of read function now and then we'll close the fn out object here okay so this is about your file read function that we need here now we need here search name but one thing we will do here in file read function that is we'll display the headers here that is i'll display okay i'll display set w 20 and here i'll display just name name and then set w 20 and then we'll display phone number okay and then end up. after this we'll display just a line okay we'll display the line just line we won't and okay so this will do there okay now in the next function that is search name will provide the phone number will give the input of phone number and will find out the name associated with that uh, phone number okay so again here we need fstream class because we are again going to open the file there so here i'll use fp okay object the fp object now i'll directly copy the code here that is the open function okay so open function we have to call here so i'll just copy and paste it here and at this time i'll just the changing pointer here that is object here fp so this we need to open in input mode and in binary mode right now so for searching the name okay so for searching the name we have to give the input of phone number first so we'll uh, declare a variable phone here okay and then we need some other uh, variables like ps variable is required so later on i will tell you this is used for position i for indexing and then offset for again for indexing of the bytes okay so this we need and then we'll initialize ps with minus one so I'll initialize PS with minus 1, there will not be a uh, position, so I'll um, initialize with the minus 1 and I with the 0 because the starting index will be 0 there. So we'll open the file now, after opening the file, okay, we have to take the input of again phone number right now, so we'll take the input of phone number, so enter phone number, that will take first in four okay so after taking phone number now we'll open the file and now after which we have to read it okay so we have to search this phone number in our uh, phone a uh, phone book or phone directory so we'll again use while loop here so i'll uh, we have to read it again here so again we will copy this while loop here and paste it here okay just i'll change the object here fp okay so same thing we want to do but just i'll remove this and here i have to put a con condition if this 
that is the, with the help of this pointer I'll access the PHN value that is phone number value of my object and that I will compare with the entered value that is phone number that I entered if it is equal then I'll, I'll set the uh, set the position i that is if it got it at zeroth position i'll uh, set the position zero if it got at fifth position i'll set the position phi here okay because the finally these things like this name and phone number these will be inside your file in the form of bytes so all these are these will be the bytes means they are nothing but a byte array so this uh, this is at zero index this is one one index this is at two index this whole whole data okay so these are uh, these will be in the file in the form of bytes uh, in the form of byte arrays so in order to access that we'll use this i index and whenever it found i'll store i'll set that position there okay in ps variable after that one variable we need that is flag variable i'll use here and that will, i will set true so it should be declared first here so i'll declare as a bool here so flag and i'll initialize with the false value okay so this is for another for if condition that we are going to outside the while loop and then at, the set, at that point i'll break the loop now whenever i found i'll just break it and outside this i'll just increment i now okay so this while loop we have uh, we have completed here just remember that we are we are come we were comparing the phone number of entered entered phone number and the phone number which is stored in that object uh, uh, stored on the file whenever i got the phone number okay i'll just return the index of those bytes uh, to the ps variable and then i'll set the flag true and i'll break the loop that uh, that time okay so outside the while loop i just use if condition if flag if it is true then i'll do one thing uh, but that for that purpose i have to do one thing here so if i'm reading the file here so for reading the file i need to one another function that i want to call here that is called a seek g which moves your get pointer okay so uh, we want to start our reading from the beginning of the files i'll use zero index here uh, zero offset and then i'll use seek direction that is with the help of ios pick i'll tell that i want to read the file from the beginning so this is the one of the function in the input output string that we can use for moving the file pointer there okay so right now we are starting the we are starting the reading it starts it starts i'll just write the comment here it starts reading from the beginning of the file okay so that will happen here and after that will uh, do one calculation that is will do the calculation of offset now offset is equal to ps i will get the ps value in my while loop so that i will uh, multiply with the size of my this pointer now okay this pointer with the help of current object byte i will multiply with the ps value now so this will give my uh, one offset oh, offset means nothing but the index of that object there okay which will we have to use for uh, next function so there we have to call one function that is i will call the sick p that is the uh, again a file uh, again one of the function which moves your put pointer right now so here i'll use only offset because i want to move my put pointer right now okay so so that i want right now it is again used for a reading purpose okay this pointer is again used for reading purpose so just we'll move the put pointer at that position there to access the that object there or that byte there right so with the help of this we'll now again call the read function okay at this time again in my read function I'll copy this code because I'm currently reading the current object so I'll call this okay so I'll call this function here 
and after reading that okay i will just do one thing that is i will display c out record found okay and i'll display the name is the name is who is there we have to display okay so i'll just display here with the help of this pointer i'll write this and then member access operator and then ph so we are sorry we are we are for searching for the name right now okay so i i'll use name here okay so this we need to here uh, we need to use here so we'll slash in here so this is if now in else will display this will display c out number does not exist okay because here we are going to, uh, going to give the input of phone number so we'll, it will show just if now it is not found on the uh, list it just display number does not exist okay so outside this we'll just close the fp object of file stream okay so we have to close it okay so this is about your search name function so the same code we'll copy now right now for getting the uh, for the definition of next function that is search number right now so the same thing we'll do here I'll copy and paste code here just one change we have to do that is now here we are searching the number means we want here now name so i'll take the input of name here so so nm variable i will use i'll take its size 20 right now the rest of the things will be same just i'll change here phone number the name and i'll take the input of nm right now so here uh, here we'll do the change instead of phone number comparison we'll do the comparison of uh, strings right now so i'll call strcmp function for string comparison and here i'll access the name of object or current object with the uh, I'll compare with the name which is entered here so we will check whether it is a zero or not okay so if it is zero then it will set the position uh, that current position will set the fire flag true then i plus plus if it is true again the same thing will happen here just will show here record found the number is the number is and with the help of this pointer we'll just call ph in here in order to get the phone number okay so that we have done here now here just we, uh, yeah here we have we have to just show name does not exist if it is not found or it doesn't found the name there so this is about your read number uh, sorry search number function okay so now we'll define update number function so for update number we'll copy the definition of search number because the same thing we'll do in this function just one change is that we, we have to update the phone number so i'll copy and paste the code here okay now in this we'll change just one thing we'll change here that is so we want to change here that is in my this okay in this in this i'll just remove this read function first of all and after this i'll just, just display record found the number is the current number i'll display the current number is current number is and then i'll enter see how enter new phone number I'll just display this there okay and here I'll take the input of here I'll take the input of phone number but at this time I have to de declare one variable that is phone again here so that I can use it here 
okay so after taking phone number input right now we have to do one thing that is we have to access the phn of our object and initialize okay or assign this value phone value to the phn variable that we have there uh, inside our object okay then we we have to write this content of the file again so we'll use fp object again and we'll call write function so char star then this on which object we are, which where are we are going to write it so that we have to tell and then asterisk this okay but here one thing we want to do that is flush we have to use here so flush will remove will delete the previous value and it will update it will write the then write will update the value there we will write the new value there and flush will remove the old value so flush is required here but one thing again we want to do that is we have to change here the mode of file that is now we are writing so we have to use out mode also then one of the mode that is at the end okay file at the end so that mode also we have to uh, use in the open function there okay then now we have written the content okay now in display see out record updated and the new the new content is or the updated content is so i'll display this content okay so to uh, display this content we need to use again while loop and in the, in the while loop we have to call the read function so i'll copy this read function call here we'll call read function here and inside this we'll just call that we know that is show output function that we have okay so this change we have to do only in my uh, in our update function so that our content will be updated okay so name does not exist will be in the else block and now in main function we'll have the very simple thing that is now that is we'll create the object of phone book class pb and we'll take the choice we'll uh, declare a variable choice and then infinite for while loop i'll take the infinite while loop in order to display these menus infinitely uh, until i press exit button so all six menus i'll display uh, write record read record search name search number update number exit and then i'll ask for choice that is enter your choice i'll take the choice input here then the switch case i'll just call first uh, get input because i need to take input first okay so i'll call get input with the help of pb object and then i'll call the file write in order to create the file and write the content on that file then in case two i'll call just file read because i am having a read record case second in third case i'll just call search name function in fourth case i'll just call search number function in fifth case i'll just call update number function and in sixth case just i will call exit function exit of zero for exiting the program and in default case i'll uh, just display invalid choice and finally return zero so this is our program okay now we are done with the program just will compile and run this program okay so this is my program okay so but before that i'll just uh, show you that where the file will be created so in my project folder here my uh, my project folder is here cpp lecture okay this is my project folder which is having phone book folder and here the file will, is already created so i'll just delete this file and I'll, again i'll run this when i run this program again at this time the file will be created in this location okay so now i'll run the first case of write record so I will enter the number okay then again no 
how you can see the file has been created here you cannot see the file with the help of editor and then i'll enter next input okay again next record i'll enter okay again i'll enter next record okay so i'll display now with the help of second menu read record okay so i'm having four values uh, four records now and now i'll do the searching okay i'll search the uh, name here i'll just enter one two three four five six seven eight nine zero okay so for this there is a satish name okay now i'll use fourth case okay at this time i'll enter name suresh and it is returning the okay number it will search the number of that name there okay and now finally fifth update number i'll enter here it is asking for the names i'll enter suresh here so it is showing record found the current number is and it is asking for enter new phone number so i'll just enter new phone number that is seven zero one one two two three three four four okay and then enter so at this time record updated the updated content is you can see the updated content is here but one thing that we forgot here that is we have not started the file reading okay so here one thing i will do that is just i will write fp dot sick g from zero okay means i will start from the first record and now again i will um, exit this program and i will just compile and run this before that i have to again create a delete the file from my project directory i delete it okay so again write records push. okay now file is created and return then push. okay again for third record so, okay one record again okay so now i'll display okay so this way the records are written there okay Our records are stored now we'll do the searching so i'll enter suppose one two three three four four two two three so it is displaying the name okay so fourth uh, menu we'll use here so i'll use range okay its number is displayed here i'll use fifth menu and at this time i will update the number of suresh so the current number is displayed enter new phone number it is asking new phone number so i'll enter new phone number that is seven zero two two three three four four five five okay so it is this it is it is it has been updated the number here you can see suresh number previous number was this and now the updated number is this okay so we can again show you the for second okay that is the phone number is updated here and now i'll press sixth menu that is exit okay so this is about your program okay phone book program so if you are having any doubt please post your uh, post your doubts and queries in the comment section so thank you for watching my video Bye-bye.